Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm Kalzong Pinso and I will be discussing on HTML5 input types and autocomplete. Firstly, I will be discussing on some of the input types. Number one, the search field. Search field are intended to be used to create search boxes on pages and apps. The syntax for the search field is input type is equals to double inverted comma search. Now the second input type is the URL field. A URL field is a special type of field for entering the URLs. Can be created using the value URL for the type. The syntax is input type is equals to double inverted comma URL name is equals to URL. Now the third input type is tail or the telephone number or the phone number field. A special field for filling in phone numbers can be created using tail as the value of type attribute. The syntax or the coding for the tail is input type is equals to double inverted comma tail name is equals to tail. Now the number field. Number field is control for entering numbers can be created with an input type of number. With the number input type we can constrain the minimum and maximum value allowed by setting the max and the minimum attributes. The number inputs only validates if the number is an integer. To allow float numbers, specify step is equals to any and if omitted the step value default to one, meaning only those whole numbers are valid. The syntax for the number is input type is equals to double inverted comma number a mean is equals to 1, max is equals to 10, and step is equals to 10. Now, the range slider, input types. It is application users can input and change the values dynamically and trigger what if scenarios based on the values. Range sliders defines a specific range of data. The syntax for the range slider is input type is equals to range, mean is equals to 0 and max is equals to 100 and step is equals to 10. Now the autocomplete. Autocomplete allows the browser to predict the values. When user starts to type in a field, the browser should display options to fill in the field based on earlier type values. Using the data list elements, you can provide suggested automatically completed values for form option elements to specify the values to display. The data list is bound to text files, fields using an input element, using list attributes. Now I will be showing the coding of the autocomplete. Here I have shown the coding of autocomplete and the option here will specify the element values to be displayed and the, the autocomplete allows the browser to predict the values. And if we run the code Here, here, when the browser, when the browser type in, when, when the user type in, the browser will display, browser should display the options like, like I have shown here. 
and using the data data list element you can provide the suggested automatic completed values from the form here we have got some suggested form from here that's it and thank you